Hi everyone, this is Matt from Soft Solutions and today we're just ha going to have a quick video on using the new Grandstream paging speakers with 3CX. So let's start with what is paging? So paging is what you will have come across in something like a supermarket when someone dials a number on a phone, speaks into it, and then the voice comes out over the speakers. So what does it do when it's up with a device? It allows for it to auto-answer when it's called and broadcast. This is available via physical devices, so these can be phones or speakers. What paging allows you to do is merge multiple extensions into a single virtual extension number that can be dialed. So this could be set up ahead of time or done when setting up the units in the first place. It gives you one-way audio from the caller to the speakers. And this functionality is set up in ring groups in 3CX. And we've got two types. So most paging speakers support alert and multicast broadcasting. Alert-based broadcasting is where the SIP paging speaker is registered uh, with an extension. So you may have a common area 1, common area 2, common area 3 extensions, all provisioned to SIP speakers. And then you've also got multicast. And the way that multicast works is you page to a IP address and then it broadcasts that way. So... The Grandstream GSC3500, so these are new interrupt um, paging speakers that work with 3CX. We're very excited that they've come about because a lot of paging solutions come and go, um, and now there is a decently supported feature-rich set of speakers available. So it allows for powerful intercom. They've got ceiling mounts on the back of them as well, and of course you'll typically have them mounted to the ceiling. They support the SIP paging, so alert-based. They also support multicast paging as well. And it also has dual-band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in there as well. So let's look at what it takes to set one up. So upon receiving the new unit, you would plug it in. So there are two ways that these units are supported, so that you can do it via local LAN, which we'll be looking at today. They are also able to be set up uh, with a session border controller as well, much like any other phone. So we'll look at local LAN provisioning today. So to set it up, you would plug it in. It will send out its broadcast to say, hey, I'm here. And it will show up under the phones tab in 3CX, as you can see here. So showing up in bold, we can see in this case, we're using a GSC 3510. We can see what firmware version it's on. And it's appearing as new because it's brand new and it hasn't been set up just yet. So the options that we've got that we can see in the green box here is once the unit's been detected, and again, this is much like uh, any supported phone with 3CX, you can add it to a new extension and create it on the fly and provision it to it. Or if you've set up extensions ahead of time, you can provision it to that as well. So how do we create a paging group? So as I mentioned before, it's set up as a ring group. So to set this up, we go into our 3CX management console. We go to ring groups and we click add paging because we're creating a paging group. On the settings here, so much like anything in 3CX, we want to give it a name and something hopefully meaningful if um, you're routing calls to it. Much like any other entity in 3CX for its ring group called queue extension, we have an extension number that will be automatically assigned. You can change this if you want. For ring strategy, you can set it to paging or you can set multicast as well. We'll be looking at paging today. If you were setting up multicast, it would just be showing the IP address to set it to. From there, we add group members. So Group members in this case are the SIP paging speakers and the extensions that they're set to. So we go ahead and click add and select them in there. Once that's all done at the top of the screen, we just click OK. And that's it. It is really, really easy. 
once the unit has been set up and provisioned and a paging group has been assigned with it, all you have to do is dial the virtual extension number and then you'll be able to broadcast across the speakers. So that's it, nice and quick. Notably, after you've set uh, any device up, you always want to make sure that the firmware is upgraded. So you're on a 3CX supported firmware, and that's the same for these speakers as well. And it's really that easy. So thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.